Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back again with another amazing Elements 3D classes from this season 2. So, let's get started. Guys, we are working with Graphi by An Academy. If you still not go and follow us over there, you can go and check it out. The first Geoscoping Masterclasses course will be starting from 22nd of May and it will end on 5th of June. Enrollment free is only 3000. And the most important thing is this will be a complete live session face to face with me. So go and subscribe and also enroll here because we have 10 limited seats. Okay, so starting with taking a new composition as well. So click here and change it to, let's take around normal 1080p, but I change it to 1280 by 720p, simply press OK. That's it. Now make it to fit to screen and for the very first time, we are not taking Element 3D for the very first. We are taking a music here. So just select the music because we want to achieve the output by based on the beats on the music. So select drag and drop on the this layer. So if you play the music, it will sound like this. Yes, this is completely beatbox kind of thing. Some beats are there, many kind of beats after some 10 seconds, they have some specific beats here. See, okay, so let's stop this. So what do you need? We need to export the big data here. So what you can do, just right click and new adjustment layer and just name it to like sound and then key and then just press OK. And here you can find the effects called a sound key. Simply drag and drop it to here. That's it. Simply, now it looks something like this, so don't worry about that. First of all, in the audio layer, select from none to this uh, sound key, or this is my MP3. Select this one, just like this. So now you can find this is come here, like this. So I just turn off the music here, so that you can listen to my voice. So when I play this, you can see these are the like sound wave bars here. And this is the area that will be defined the sound keys. So if you notice, the sound key is completely on this much area, pretty high pitch. So if you go here, the pitch will start gaining some noise and all okay so what you can do you need from the very first thing here so just simply drag the connection here and make it to just like this okay so what happened this much area will be only effect on our main comp very simple okay so that's it and after that simply press apply that's it now click here when you press U on your keyboard you can see the sound keys are right now exported on keyframe format Okay, right now you can take a new solid and let's take it name to E3D, press OK, right click, video copilot and element. Here you can turn off this layer and you can just go to this scene setup and very basic steps you can do on the element 3D here. Now you can take any 3D model, yes, any 3D model based on that your output will be coming like this. So it's completely based on you how much you are creative. So I'm going to this motion design pack too where you can find these many amazing options and all you can find these amazing things. So many of guys are asking me about motion design pack. It's available guys on internet, just go and use it. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm taking these three options here. So I'm taking from here on this one. This is pretty nice. The lights thing are pretty well here. So what I can do, I I just control and click on this black here and uh, I just increase the reflectivity a bit high like 50% and I'm just decreasing the glossiness a bit like 82% yup that's it now I'm going to the presets environment and then I'm just changing the basic 2k from I'm changing it to let's take around this one so this is pretty nice then environment and that's it now you can press the ok button okay so right now right click uh, new and taking a new camera and I'm taking like 35 millimeter press ok now select the camera you can rotate the camera something like that this is your main view okay now go to element 3d from group one particle replicator one from point change it to 3d grid and make sure you have to make it to 10 by 0 by 10 okay now you have to increase the x scale shape so just zooming here a bit like this and just change it to 3.50 and make it to 3.50 so now what happened you can find some very much gap here in between of this all the boxes pretty amazing right okay now change your positions i'm just want to change the positions something like that this is pretty nice okay so now the basic fun part will be starting first of all what you have to do go to this particle look and you can turn this off particle replicator inside of this particle look you can find this particle size random make it to 50 percent so now what happened few are bigger and few are smaller okay this is the very first step and the next part is you have to go to this multi object and just 
done on this one. So now each and every parts are right now calculated as in multiplus object here. Now go down, you can find this noise amount multi x, y, z. Click here and uh, you can find under this like noise x and y and z. Just make it to here so that you can find noise in x, y and z. So, so for this we need only this y1 just like this and we need bit of z1. You can use 3 also, it's completely up to you. So for the y1 select this keyframe by pressing alt, hold and click on the stopwatch so that you can find the expression panel will be popped up here. If you go down click here you can press U on your keyboard so that you can find the sound keys here now go back to your here and you can find this null parent child option so just select this and go down here and just release on this output option that's it now what happened you can find these expressions here so if you just normally play it going very far like normally press zero now see this is too much because the beats are too much here so we don't need this much so select the output and what I'll do I'll just divide it this with 50 so now what happened this will become very less so if we play this it will become just like that it's completely up to you how you can manage all this with this amazing settings and all so the, the basic thing is the entire speed will be divided 50 times okay so now we need once more here so what we can do select element 3d and we need to this in z axis as well a bit very bit so select alt and click here again and select drag and if just release on this output one again and now here i'm just changing it to divided by 250 percent because we need very less as i told so if you notice this will go this direction as well this is very very less okay but we need some variations and that's why i did it here okay so for the rotations what i'll do select the camera make the positions something like that so make the positions here that's it if you don't play this let's see so i just turn on the sound so that you can exactly feel how it will look like just turn on the sound and press zero That's it guys. So this is pretty amazing. So just turn the sound off again. And now what I can do, select uh, this uh, sound key and we don't need this right now and this one as well. Now again, you have to go to this element 3D. Now the basic purposes are done, the rotation part. Okay, just go to this particle replicator where you can find this rotation here and select the Y axis rotation. So go to the first frame, select the Y axis here and go to the last frame. This is a 15 seconds comp. We don't need this much, make it to 10 seconds only. Trim to comp area, right click, just like this. And then just make it to simply one. So now what happened when you play this, it will start rotating and yeah, that's it. And after that, it will become something loop kind of thing. But the basic thing is done, but without lightning and all, the entire part is completely blind. So for the lighting, what you can do, is just make it to fit to screen just like this and just zooming out a bit, zoom in. Okay, that's it. Now right click, new, a solid. I'm just making it to black. Press OK and behind of this element 3D layer. Okay, so now I'm just making it to a ramp effect from here and just double click here so that it will come here like this and then swap the colors from linear make it to radial so now it will become like this select the black color and click under this that's it and i'll just change the black colors to match with this environment so just matching with this let's change it to this colors press ok and this one should be something like this so i'll change the color later i'll tell why because when i add some glows and all it will become change okay that's it now you have to add a specific light here so right click new and then light and from parallel light i'm taking a blue light intensity 800 percent pretty well press okay now select the light press p here for the positions and you have to change the positions now see the lights are affecting here starting like this so if you notice i want the light should be coming on the back side of this comp so just select from to view and then you can change the light positions and now see the lights are getting changing the positions also so the camera is on this direction so the lights are coming from this direction which i really want to do so just change the light something bit like this and change it to something like that okay that's it press one and yeah this is done okay so light setups are done no need to change anything now rest of the part which is the simply select the black layer here don't need to change it right now just go to element 3d and uh, just turn this off all these groups settings and go to the render settings we're going to find this physical environment you can really change the rotation of the environment i think for this uh, no need to change and but i think i just want to change it a bit blue here to match with this uh, background colors 
and uh, after that you have to go to this ambient occlusion this is the most important thing turn this on and you can find some black part will be popped up here so turn it off and turn it on you can see but we need a bit more so just select from here and just make it to ray traced and now when you turn this off and turn this on you can exactly see the big changes will be coming up here it's become more realistic okay guys comment your feedback till now how much you love this video okay so after that what you can do we can just do uh, to increase the multism so go to this output you can change from here to 16 but this time i'm not doing it because i don't want to lose my system because it will become lagging after some time so first of all just select element 3d and duplicate this and rename it to like world and then position okay and then release it simply click on the world position from composite change it to world positions and now you can find this alpha here from this x axis mat make it to 90 percent so that it will rotate here and now i'll just increase the feather value here and just positioning change it to here i just want to make some lights coming from the uh, like uh, under this complete models and all so increase the feather a bit just like this and now after that just select this wall positions from normal i'm making it to add now you can see some lights are coming from under this to change the light you can use a tint effect just release it here and change the colors to let's take around some blue kind of thing so i just want to change it to a bit of like blue that's it now it's not matching with the environment or background so what i can do select the background now i can change the colors based on this now if you change it to blue here it start getting matching but in this area i just want to match with this here so let's change it to let's take around some bright colors here so it will become like this and something like that okay so this is pretty nice or else i can change it to something this color okay now change the positions of this complete color so change it to here so now it will become like this okay that's it uh and after that what you can do you can simply select and duplicate it again and now delete the tint effect and from output i'm changing it to elimination and rename it to elimination and that's like this and from the illumination and make it to solo so now you can see these are the illuminated parts here and again you have to select the illumination part and go down you can find the illumination tab change it to 10 percent so you can increase the illumination light to 10 now you can select and change it to glow here double click and you can find the glow effect increase the intensity decrease the glow thresholds and all and from here make it to add that's it and just release the colors here so you can find this in white but if you really want to change it in different color you can use really tint effect double click here so and after that you can really change the colors to in any other colors like blue to match with this so i just make it to blue here and you can see the start matching with this colors and now after that you can simply duplicate the glow effect to increase it more so i'll select the glow effect and duplicate this once again to make it more brighter so i'm just increasing the radius just like this if you isolate this you can exactly see these are the my glowing areas and all okay so now i just want to zooming it a bit like this to add on some depth of field so just zooming it something like this now after that i'll change the color correction so just make it to adjustment layer right click color corrections curves here i just decreasing and increasing the contrast a bit and from blue i'm just increasing the blue from here as well to make it some bluish kind of thing and all and decrease it, it just like this from red i am just decrease the red here to blue and green and just increasing the green to bit like this so now you can find this amazing green and purple kind of color connection is here make sure guys this kind of output is completely based on your color corrections now after that the color corrections part done and we need our depth of field just turn on your depth of field and just wait for a bit time because the depth of field will start taking some time to apply okay so depth of field is by default applied so when i'm increasing the aperture you can exactly see this much area is right now in focus and this much area is completely out of focus okay so if you really want to change it just increasing the focus distance or decreasing it like to 200 percent so now what happened this is a very shallow depth of field and this is pretty nice and also pretty well to make it more clear and well you can simply turn on your motion blur when you turn on your motion blur and turn on all these three motion blurs you can exactly see the motion blur when turn it on it will become more realistic and all see these other things will start adding motion blur but make sure this is not for the only one frame when you play the entire animation it will look pretty well so i'm just 
just turning off the motion blur here because we don't need that right now. So this is it guys. I hope you really enjoyed this amazing small but sweet tutorial from Element 3D classes in season 2. If you really enjoyed this video a lot then please subscribe to our channel VFX World and also follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. All links are in description box below. See you next time with some more amazing content. Till then have fun, stay home, don't go outside, keep rocking, keep watching. Yeah.